The term ghosting has become a disturbing addition to our modern dating language and basically means disappearing from a romantic relationship without any explanation, like a ghost. This has weirdly become acceptable behavior for people within our dating culture, especially with the popularity of online dating. Today I want to talk about why ghosting is bad and why you should stop doing it right now. I first want to talk about the people who get ghosted and how it affects them. When you are interested and start dating someone, you are creating an emotional relationship with that other person. And there are chemical reactions in your brain which makes you feel really good. You look forward to their next text and seeing them again because of how they made you feel. You start building a mental future with this person. But then one day they disappear. You text them to see how their day went, but there's no response. You ask them out on a date, no response. You ask them what's going on and why they're ignoring you, but you get nothing, just silence. The person that was ghosted starts to doubt themselves and their self-esteem drops and they might even question their value as a person. Are they really not worth at least a response through text? Did I do or say something wrong? I thought things were going so well. Was I wrong? That initial feeling of anticipation has now turned to anxiety and can turn into self-doubt and sometimes deep insecurity. These feelings can sometimes result to similar feelings that couples experience when one person starts to neglect the other. Studies have shown that feelings of neglect or exclusion can result in changes in the brain, which are associated with physical pain. No wonder why ghosting can feel so awful sometimes. I can definitely confirm this. There have been times in my life where I have been ghosted by others and it has really made me feel really bad about myself. I've learned to cope with it better, but it still sucks when it happens. So if ghosting can make people feel so bad, why do we do it? In my opinion, the following are some of the reasons why this has become so popular. With the rise of dating apps, people today now have hundreds if not thousands of potential people that they can date. If there is someone that you're interested in, but then you have a change of heart, that's not a problem anymore because you can easily thank you next them and find someone new and maybe more attractive and more interesting. All you have to do is keep swiping. I even have to admit that online dating feels more like shopping, but unlike shopping, the customer isn't always right. Sometimes the customers are just jerks. I have noticed that people nowadays are flakier than ever. It wasn't that long ago if you were invited to a wedding or a birthday party, people would tell you if they were planning on attending or not. Today it feels like people are even hesitant to commit to a social event and won't RSVP or they'll respond with something along the lines of, I might drop by. Or, depends, I have other stuff going on that night. This type of behavior has leaked into our dating culture, and it's become very normal to cancel a date with someone at the last minute, or even worse, not even show up. I think people feel that there aren't real consequences to their actions when it comes to dating. Maybe they think that the other person might be upset for a little bit, but they'll get over it, right? Well, let's talk about the last reason why I feel people ghost others. In my opinion, ghosting shows a strong lack of empathy towards others. Since most of this behavior occurs online, the person doing the ghosting doesn't need to see the sadness, disappointment, and sometimes tears of the other person they are ghosting. They don't treat them like someone you would in real life. They treat them like a set of digital pictures online. Ghosting can even become a crutch to those who want to avoid confrontation from others, even co-workers, friends, and family members. I feel most of us have done this at some point of our lives, to some extent, inside or outside of dating. I highly recommend taking time to think of those in your life you may have neglected and need to take accountability for and be more empathetic towards. Make a stronger effort to reach out to these people and reconnecting with them and practice common courtesy to those you meet in real life or online. If you have made up your mind and don't have interest in someone, simply let them free by telling them so. Do not leave them in this ambiguous limbo by ghosting them. Practice more empathy towards everyone, even those you don't know. So what's your opinion on ghosting? Comment below and share it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to keep watching more videos. Talk to you later.